Finding traces of extraterrestrial intelligent life is difficult. It's no different than looking for a needle in the ocean. Even the SETI project where leading scientists have been using large, state-of-the-art radio telescopes to look for signals from aliens for decades it has not been successful until today. But recently, it was reported that, with an astronomical research project, the research, created by a team of Canadian University of Toronto students and published in the JANA, 30 issue of the journal Nature Astronomy, has raised new hopes for the use of artificial intelligence or AI technology, help find signals from extraterrestrial intelligent beings it is many times more effective. Algorithm written from scratch by a team of researchers, up to eight signals suspected to be from aliens were detected. After analyzing 150 terabytes of large data obtained by scanning the sky with the Green Bank Radio Telescope in the U.S. state of West Virginia, the scan covered an area of 820 stars. The detected signals came from five stars located approximately 30 to 90 light-years from Earth and have characteristics that could be considered signals from aliens. This is because the signal appears clearly when the radio telescope is pointed at the host star, but the signal disappeared when the radio telescope was turned in another direction. Dr. Steve Croft, a SETI scientist working at the Green Bank Radio Telescope said, This is proof that it is not a disturbance from Earth that normally appears all the time. The signals discovered by the AI also change their frequency over time, which makes it look like it came from a source that is moving further and further away. However, it is still not possible to prove whether the signals discovered by the AI actually came from aliens or not, because when the research team continues to monitor and observe such signals for a period of time, still haven't found that the same signal has reappeared in any way. Peter Ma, the undergraduate student who led the project, said that although the eight signals discovered this time may just be a coincidence, and it still needs to be followed up in the long term to determine whether it really comes from aliens or not, but at least their study shows the enormous potential of AI. In helping with bioastronomy work, our new technique using AI combined with an ultra-powerful radio telescope like Meerkat or NGVLA will help advance the search for aliens. From scanning hundreds of constellations at a time to the search for millions of stars at a time, said Peter Ma. And recently, signals of light from different galaxies have been found the farthest ever travelled by India's GMRT radio telescope on January 20, 2023, detected a signal of light from hydrogen atoms, which takes radio waves travelling from their source in deep space for 8,800 million years before reaching Earth. Signs of such light. It can indicate the condition of the universe in the past, when it was still about 5,000 million years old. It is considered the most distant piece of astronomical evidence. As far as the type of hydrogen atom has ever been discovered and studied, it is also very ancient and close to the origin of the universe or the Big Bang event. The signal came from a galaxy, SDSSJ0826 Plow 5630, with dense star formation. This galaxy emits a variety of radio signals, including radio signals from uncharged hydrogen atoms, which has the characteristics of light waves. The light wave has an exceptionally long wavelength of 21 centimeters and also stretches to 48 centimeters when it reaches Earth. This is due to a phenomenon where the light shifts towards the red until the wavelength increases and the energy decreases after traveling far away from the origin. Gravitational lensing techniques are used, amplifies low energy light signals that are difficult to detect by the gravitational pull of another massive galaxy that lies between Earth and the source of the light signal. This causes the light signal to bend and appear to expand. It's like looking at an image through the lens of a magnifying glass. The GMRT radio telescope is considered to be the world's most sensitive radio telescope in the 30-1500 mHz band. 
breaking the previous record set by the Child Space Exploration Project at 4,400 million years. The researcher said in a report published in the journal MENRAS of the Royal Astronomical Society of London that this discovery offers hope for new methods of studying the history of the university, such as studying the evolution of inert gases, the project to build a new generation of low-frequency radio. Telescopes will help a lot in this respect. What exactly are the mysterious radio signals that erupt from deep space? An example of this discovery of mysterious radio signals was made by a team of Canadian astronomers has detected a sudden burst of radio signals, or FRBs, sent from deep space 1.5 billion light years from Earth. This is the second time they have found so. Such mysterious signals can be retransmitted from the same source. The discovery was published in the journal Nature. The team of astronomers said they found the latest in a series of 13 FRB bursts sent out by the Chime Radio Telescope. In the Canadian province of British Columbia, the signal was detected last summer. Previously, the FRB phenomenon was considered a matter of great mystery. What are these short bursts of high-energy radio signals of a few milliseconds? And exactly where in the universe is it sent from? Since 2007, when records regarding FRBs were first discovered, after that, many more FRB signals were discovered. A total of 60 such signals have been detected so far, but only two have been duplicates of the same source. Several possible explanations for the source of the FRB signal have been proposed. From black holes, neutron stars, to intelligent beings from extraterrestrials, Neutron stars spin rapidly in a magnetic field. When a star that has expired has a violent explosion, it may become a dense, rapidly rotating neutron star. If this neutron star is in space with a strong magnetic field, such conditions can cause strange signals to be sent out into the universe. Dr. Ingrid Strauss, an astrophysicist from Canada's University of British Columbia said, this assumption is highly plausible. However, to this day, scientists are still unable to determine for sure what exactly does the FRB signal come from. Neutron star pairs that collide and merge together, such a phenomenon of enormous intensity, it can produce gravitational waves and other powerful signals. Unfortunately, this kind of explanation can only be used with one isolated FRB signal. Sudden radio signal bursts from events like this, it can only happen once, because neutron star pairs collide only once before they are destroyed. We cannot use this assumption to explain FRB signals that occur twice from the same source, said Dr. Sriharsh Tendulkar, astronomer at McGill University, Canada said. Blitzar a Blitzar is a rapidly spinning neutron star that collapsed because it couldn't support its enormous weight and eventually became a black hole. This phenomenon can cause an FRB signal to occur, but just like in the case of a pair of neutron stars colliding, that is, it will cause the FRB signal to burst only once. Black Hole there are several hypotheses as to why black holes emit FRB signals. For example, a neutron star falls into a black hole, the black hole collapses, or being hit by dark matter. Creatures with wisdom from aliens Although most astronomers believe that FRB signals occur naturally, but there are some groups who believe that this mysterious signal is the work of aliens who have extraterrestrial intelligence. Whether it is sending a communication signal intentionally or arising from activities that use cutting-edge technology unintentionally, in 2017, a group of scientists from Harvard University proposed that FRB signals may be energy waves leaking from alien transmitting equipment. This device could be as large as a planet. It is possible that such tools are not intended for communication but it could also propel a spacecraft using a sail-like material that reflects beams of light or radio signals to create propulsion in space. However, Dr. Strauss views this matter as FRB signals come from a variety of sources and are scattered throughout the universe. 
It is therefore impossible for civilizations of intelligent beings from many places to transmit the same signals in the same way.